I'm here as a father and as an American. We can't fix the past, but we can prevent tragedies in the future. And the only way to do it is to learn from those mistakes of the past. When an airplane crashes, we recover the black box for a reason. We never want to make that same mistake twice. We have a tradition in this country as law enforcement to do the same thing when there's a mass shooting. It is a longstanding tradition of law enforcement in the United States of America to, when it is recovered, release the manifesto of the shooter. We have to learn from tragedy to prevent it in the future. The manifesto of the killer was made public in each of the following instances. Allen, Texas. Buffalo, New York. Charleston, South Carolina. Isla Vista, California. Monterey Park, California. Poway, California. In all cases, within 48 hours of the tragedy. The public demanded the same happen here in Nashville immediately after the tragedy in March. In fact, the National Police Association has since sued city officials and county officials demanding the same. It turned out that on April 27th, Governor Bill Lee, the governor of this state, pledged to release that manifesto. Yet today we're sitting here in August with nothing other than stonewalled silence from our government. That is wrong. That does not build public trust. That erodes public trust. I'm here today to make a demand of the governor of Tennessee, to make a demand of the Nashville Police Department, to make a demand of the FBI. Release the manifesto. Speak the truth. The hard times are the times where we must most openly speak that truth. It is hardest to speak the truth under difficult circumstances, but that is when we require it the most. I understand that there are legitimate concerns, that we do not want details released that will motivate copycats. I don't want that. The fellow Americans who earnestly have called for the release of this manifesto, they don't want that either. And I want to go on record and say it would be perfectly reasonable for the police to redact any sections of this manifesto that lay out specific plans, that lay out specific premeditated plots on details of execution that could be copied by another individual. But what we do need to know is this killer's motives, this killer's psychological state of mind. The truth of the matter is that we have a mental health epidemic in this country that is driving a wave of violence around this country, and we're going to have to deeply understand it if we are to address it.